You know, I think our approach here is really unique. We have had mental health counselors inside of the police department for over 40 years. And I think we really have been on the cutting edge of what is the best way to address juvenile crime by getting to the root cause, treating the, the cause of the crime, not the symptom, which is the crime. And so rather than just punishing the behavior, we are really proud of how integrating mental health counselors into every part of our police department has really allowed us to have just a bigger toolbox when it comes to dealing with youth and juvenile crime issues. So I think the partnership between Hayward Unified School District and the Hayward Police Department has had a tremendous impact, not only for us as a school district, but for the community in general. So I think our two agencies have a common vision of providing excellent service for our students and our community. And by integrating our partners, by partnering together and integrating our work, we are leveraging resources that we didn't have as individual agencies to be able to accomplish that goal in a better and a more holistic way. I think there are many challenges in Hayward um, currently. Um, we have a very diverse student population and we have maybe a workforce that is not as um, reflective of the student population that we serve. And sometimes I think that's a little problematic. Working with HPD does provide me a lot of bonuses because working side by side with the police officers, I have that partnership. When I go into the schools, usually I am there as a clinician, but if I'm outside the school, then I'm there in another setting. So with the police officers who are there usually to help with the, the law enforcement in, I can bring the personal piece to the kids in the community. So having those relationships in the classrooms, when I see them outside that setting, it's very helpful because there's a familiar face to help them in their very, in the time of need. I think one um, of the ways that the Hayward Police Force has um, really enhanced you know, the schools, especially the high schools, is generally by hiring school resource officers that want to work with teenagers and are effective working with teenagers. I decided to become a school resource officer because I grew up in Hayward and I felt what better way to give back to the community that brought me up than by working in the schools with our youth. I like that I can do more than enforce laws as an SRO because I get to work with the youth one-on-one -on -one, um, rather than just being out there ticketing people or you know taking people to jail. I could affect these kids that are going to be in our community later on in life. You know, research shows very clearly that punishing youth does not work and sending kids to juvenile hall is not successful. And so we have found a better approach by working with the kid and their family, which is a really important piece of that, we're figuring out why did this kid steal from JCPenney's or why did they get into a fight at school? What's really going on and how do we get them the services and resources that they need? Instead of traditional policing where officers would take you know, the youth into custody and look at holding people in custody, diverting them to the parents or indoctrinating them into the juvenile justice system, it allows them to take a preventative approach. So we have diversion programs that uh, are hosted out of the Youth and Family Services Bureau. We have life skill programs that help them um, develop positive life skills to better improve their chances at succeeding as adults. We have counseling programs that come out and these are these are uh, resources that are immediately accessible to our officers out on the street. I feel like I'm gonna make a positive impact in our in the kids lives. Um, they're gonna grow up in this in the city and I'm gonna be doing this job for a long time and I want them to rec remember me as a positive influence in their life. Uh, for the future one of the the visions that we have is increasing the interaction with our youth in the community. Interaction between police officers and youth, meaningful interaction, can be difficult. And it is one area within one aspect in our community where it can be difficult building a trust and transparency with our youth. Um, there are segments of the youth, for whatever reason, mistrust the police department um, and may have good reason to mistrust the police department. And our ability to break those barriers down and develop productive and um, valuable and trusting relationships is what we vision uh, in the future. I think today when um, Officer Clayton came in and worked with students, the more he comes in, the more the students, their guard is, is let down and they receive him. I've, this is about the third time he's come in and each time, you know, students interact more each time. There's a little bit more interaction. There's a little bit more trust established. 
I thought, before I came to this class, I thought officers were really rude or they just didn't care about us or they just felt like they needed to be mean and to get their point across, but they could do it nicer. But since I came today, they're really nice. They're not all the same. One of the things that I'm the most proud of is the fact that we've been doing this for 40 years and it's a cutting edge program now. And as the field of juvenile justice continues to evolve, more and more programs are like ours. And there's a whole growing literature on why programs like ours are the best fit for communities. And I'm excited to see that the field is catching up to somewhere that we've been for a while. And so my vision for the future is to keep doing what we're doing, but to connect to initiatives that are happening at the county level or the state level or even nationally, so that the system of supports for kids in the juvenile justice system continues to get better and stronger and more responsive to the needs of the community. Because I think for too long, we've been funneling kids into a system that we just, it does not work for them. And I'm excited to see that the future um, seems to be bright for these kids to actually help get them on the right track instead of um, just shuffling them further into more involvement with juvenile justice and then ultimately adult criminal justice system.